We're going to focus on the men's singles match next year on Port 2, and that's between Malaysia's Lee Zijia and the World Championship silver medalist Kodai Naropa, who's seeded fourth in this tournament. It's day two of the Victor China Open 2023. Well, this is undoubtedly one of the must-watch matches on day two. As we see the men's singles draw, the winner of this match will either take on Toma Junior Popov or the young Chinese Taipei shuttler in Lin Chun Yi, with potentially a matchup against the number eight seed, Shi Yu Chi, in the quarterfinals. So it gets trickier and trickier with every round, but surely this one itself is a tough one for both opponents both very dangerous, high-quality players. You see Lee Zijia take to the courts. World number 14. He is followed by the 22-year-old Kodai in Naraoka. World number three, but seated four in this tournament and uh, well this will be their third meeting with the head-to-head -head from previous encounters very nicely poised at one apiece the last time they met was at all england in 2023 in the quarterfinal stages and Lee Zijia won the 21 9 10 21 21 13. before that they met at the malaysia open earlier this year and that was in the first round and Kodai Naraoka won that, 13-21, 21-17, 21-19. So, what is interesting to note, of course, is that both their previous matches have gone to three games, and it's been tight three games. Naraoka having proven that he can come back from a game down against Lee Zijia. But, of course, uh, throughout this year, Naraoka has had plenty of three-game encounters to show his willpower and staying power in a match. Lee Zijia, now 25 years of age from Kadar in Malaysia. As I mentioned, ranked 14th in the world, has reached up as high as number two. That was in October of 2022. His win-loss record this year stands at 22 to 15. But more importantly, his first round win-loss record stands at just eight to six. He's lost four of his last six tournaments participated he's lost four matches in the first round so that does not make for very happy reading for Lee Zijia Kodai Naroka as I mentioned 22 from Aomori Japan enjoying his career best ranking of number three in the world he enjoyed that ranking in May or he got to that ranking first in May has a win loss record in 2023 of 31 to 17 so a lot more solid in the first round if you think about it 10 to 4 he's had 10 wins to 4 losses in the first round in tournaments played this year just lost one in his last nine tournaments in the first round that speaks for his ability to go deep into tournaments the last China Open for both in fact for Kodai Naraka it's his China Open debut Li Zijia did play in the last China Open in 2019 and lost in the first round then to Chen Long in three games so this is his second China Open appearance for the Malaysian Naraka first ever so a new Ready experience as such for Kodai Naroka playing in this Super 1000 event. It's the fourth and final of 2023. So it's the last chance for players to go for that 12,000 point winner's pot. Because every point counts as you are in the Olympic qualification period. Kevin Ban of USA is the umpire and he is joined in the service judges chair by China's San Zihui. Those are your technical officials for this match. As I was mentioning that 
this is the last chance for players to go for that huge amount of points available at a Super 1000 tournament this year. See the coach's bench. Wong Tat Men for Lee Zijia as the head coach. And you saw there Yosuke Ladies Nakanishi of Japan coaching the men's right, singles. Kodai Naraoka, Japan. And on my left, Lee Zijia, Malaysia. So Kodai Naraoka will serve to get this first Kodai round matchup underway. La ball. Play. First outing, first competitive outing on court two will be a lot about learning or adjusting their game to the conditions. First three points will be all about that as they try to read or understand the drift conditions, two. the shuttle conditions. No. They did have an outing, of course, in the main hall in the last couple of days, these players, but different when it go into a match and have so much riding on it. Oh, it's a lovely drop shot to begin with. So Naroka gets him on the scoreboard, One, finds the front court corner. High lift on the net and then uses the return to place that shot to perfection. Long. From what I understand of the conditions, it's uh, tricky apparently to time the overhead shots. And also, if you're playing on the near court and play the faster shots, it can be hard to gauge length like that. Tendency Three, to go longer two. on the near end of the court is higher, especially with the faster shots. <laughs> Naroka takes the lead for the first time. Flatter, faster forward oh. from Luzija. Going straight at Naroka there. at the net five three looking to change pace again in that exchange trying to nudge the shuttle over into that losing chair. Four, five. It's a good return on the backhand initially, but then drove the shuttle straight into the net. It's just a one-point game at the moment. Got 
got to be careful there. Five. Oh. Nizija. It's in a few shots that have gone long <laughs> off the Malaysian racket. <laughs> and the to have too many mistakes against someone like Naroka. He's jumping the advantage. Fantastic work by Lee. Six. Excellent five. injection of pace there. He finds the angle as well. A shot at the net, kills off the point. Seven, five. He has this superb ability to just inject pace at will. And from what seems like a normal exchange, you can just change that rally completely with a faster shot, a dynamic shot. Easy, dear. Two point lead. down and then realized he needed to play it back by which time Lee had made his way to the front court and put away the shuttle easily service over six eight I hope the house has Masterful ability to absorb the attack. His defensive skills are on point. We saw him play in that epic World Championships final just a couple of weeks back. Actually, I should say just over a week back. Against Kunla Vatitsan. Went on for 109 minutes that men's singles final, and both players had given it everything Naroka unfortunately on the losing end of that match but what a fabulous oh. show of badminton that was earned himself a silver medal so many more medals to come in this young man's future Push Naroka up the back, goes for the steeper shot. Thought that point out really well because even when he hit the steeper shot, he dragged Naroka on one side of the court, making it almost impossible for him to cover that much ground. As Lee aimed his smash on the other end. Holding on to his lead at the moment is Lizzie Jia. Service over. It's called out. Eight, nine. Forehand, 
couldn't get it past the net. Two-point lead. Silver. Struggled Nine. to find Ten. his length on the backhand there, but just generally, when he aims for the backcourt, is when he finds himself in trouble. Lizzie Gia. look at it and it puts him in the lead at the mid-game break 11-9 we've had 10 minutes of play and it's Malaysia's Lee Zijia who's up by two Kuda Naroka also accompanied by his father. Uh, in this tournament, as we see him sit next to 11, nine, Nakanishi in the coach's play. area, Naroka's dad, who was, of course, very proud when his son won the silver medal in uh, Copenhagen. Some nice photographs at the end with his son. rally good exchange the defensive work from Naroka is excellent at the moment all short at the net once more Naroka trying to go for the net lift there Lizzie Jado was waiting has with him of course his coach as I mentioned Wong Tat Men and sitting next to his coach is uh, Baron Liu his sparring partner and his close friend not so long struggling with these overhead shots Easy, Joe. Out. Service over. Service pulled out. And you'd have to say, in looking at how this game has played out, Easy Joe has definitely made the more confident start. He's taken the more aggressive approach. Had the lead for most of this match already. This game, I should say. That's better. Goes for the cross court smash. Puts a little bit more pace behind that shot as well. Kodai Naroka. Pays off. the length of the back court. He's still looking for his first HSBC BWF World Tour title of the year. Lizzie Gia, as is Kodai Naroka. 
Naraoka, though, has reached two finals. It's runner-up the Malaysia Open. And, of course, as I mentioned, the World Championship. He's yet to win a tour title, Japanese youngster. Lizzy Jia's best finish was semi-finals. It's an important moment in this match as we see the scores leveled. Oh, this time he gets it right. Really nice tight net roll. 14. And Naroka takes the lead for the very first time since 3 2 in this first game. Is this a very significant change? That's what we have to wait and see. I've seen Lee Zijia constantly struggle going to the back court. Again, going wide. That corner has proven to be very difficult. Naraoka who turned the tempo up. 16, 13. Able to defend the more fast paced shots. And then makes the mistake. And gets the error off the Malaysian's racket. Three point lead. His best run so far. It's over. 14, 16. He just stops that six point run immediately. With the return. Shuttle in. Put an Erica. Look at that backhand. It looked like it was going out and then just curves in. I think that could be an indication a little bit of the drift. Well, it's fair to say that he's 18, turned this around, Kodai Naraka. 14. Having trailed for most of this first game at 13 hole, he's changed things in his favor. Oh. Over. Going wide as both men 15, struggle 18. with keeping the errors to a minimum. two-point game, but it's Naroka who's in the lead.
right to the 10. 17. On that. 18. Lovely little lift from Lizzie Jia. Naraoka on the back foot. Leaves the court wide open. Lizzie Jia goes for one of his trademark smashes. Three points in a row for Lee at a crucial time in this game. Just one away now, or one behind, I should say, from Naroka. Looking to level scores once more in this first game. Been quite close from the start. Right at Lee as well. 17. Straight for his body. He's yeah, forced to defend at his abdomen. Two points away from taking the lead here. Naroka. Very quick in that exchange, and Naoka comes out on top. With a low net shot. 17. Even though Lizzie Jia goes for the flatter backhand to try and throw his opponent off, Naoka was ready. He comes up with a brilliant return of his own. So, three game points here. Gets himself 18, out of a difficult 20. spot with a excellent smash once more. Really steep on that one. Two game points. Just out. He saved two. Can he make it three? Lizzie Jia. game. Can he create an opportunity of his own? Nope. Naraoka makes so sure good. of it. Jump smash. 21. Done in style. A fourth game point for the Japanese. Look at that. He goes for the high jump smash. Gets a really nice angle on it. <laughs> so. Another game point for Naroka and uh, another chance for Lizzy Jia to try and stay by saving it. Defense. Really 
well in that exchange. Goes for the big smash oh. from the back pot and then chooses for a net shot to make sure that Naroka is at full stretch there. So it's 21 all, four game points saved by Lizzie Jia. of Lee on the other end of the court. So it's at game point number five. Game point saved. You can see how much it means to him. Lizzie Jia, how badly he wants it. Oh. It makes a mistake on the very next point. 23, 22. Opting for the flatter forehand, he throws it straight into the net. Sixth game point opportunity for Naraoka. Who's a picture of calm, no matter how difficult or tricky the situation. credit he has come back stronger with every game point he's faced but he has yet to create an opportunity of his own can he do it here 27 minutes played in this first game nice serve flick serve I should say Again, pushing Naroka at the back. Decides to leave it. Misjudgment Service from Lee Zizia. 24-23. Trying to push Naroka back in that rally. Hoping to keep that front court open. Instead, it's Naroka who plays a lovely forehand. Going behind Lee. Game point number seven. And that's gone too. Really is turning out to be a Jekyll and Hyde scenario for both these men on court. And a point of brilliance and that's then turned around and error on the other point. Game point number eight. Service over. Much more aggressive. 25, 24. Play by Naroka there. Again, aiming for Zijia's body. Straight at Zijia, who's then on the floor, trying to play it back. Well, he does manage to do it. The lift is just at a nice height for Naroka to put away. So, this is game point number eight. Game. He converts it on the eighth 
game point First opportunity game had to 26. be pushed to 24. the limit for Dinaroka, but comes through with some powerful smashes, just out muscling his opponent in the end. If it was possible to do that against Lizija, he certainly did for Dinaroka, and he has. That first game, 26-24 after 29 minutes. A hard fought first game for both these men, and it's Kodai Naroka who just edges Lizzy Jia. He had to wait for his eighth game point opportunity before he could finally convert. And he's got that first game advantage. And, uh, could be A change of times because in the previous two encounters, Lizzy Jia has always won the opening in game. So at Malaysia Open, he won the opening game, and then Naroka came back to win it Second in game. three. In Ball. England, he won the opening game and then Play. had to win it in three games. So this is the first time that Naroka has won the opening game against Lizzy Jia. Good reactions from Lee. Point placement from Lee Zizia. One love. Cross court smash finding the corner. Twenty twenty three, he's gone as far as semi finals in tournaments. Lee, semi final at the Australian Open, that was not too long ago. All England as well as Swiss Open. Last final and title came back in twenty twenty two. Thailand Open. Yeah, won his last World Tour title. That's why overhit that. Over. One all. Oh. Naroka, he got to the final of the Malaysia Open, has four other semi final finishes in Japan, Korea, Canada, and Singapore. Last title was a Super 100 title at the Vietnam Open last year. Still looking for a first major. Title on the HSBC BWF World Tour, Naroka. It's come close a couple of times. Got from Malaysia, of course, and then Singapore last year, but just not been able to convert those into wins. I just feel that he's on the cusp of it, Naroka. Over two. One. Look at his Super 1000 runs specifically this year. Narok Cup was final at Malaysia Open, quarter final at All England and Indonesia Open. Nice point by Naroka so far. He's taking control of this exchange.
take nothing away from Lee. I'm very much in it still. Except on that down the line smash. Service over. Couldn't Two. control the shuttle. Oh. Yeah. Even though he got his racket on it, goes wide. Just not able to get any control on it. Thank you. Easy Jet Super 1000s this year. He's lost in the first round of Malaysia. Watch the semi finals of All England. And then first round of Indonesia. It's not been the most consistent of showings. In fact, this year, you'd say, has been a little bit more difficult for Lee. A lot less consistent than previous years. As he tries to find his ground, his peak game again. That's a blind. That is confident play from Lee. Over. Three. A really high lift from Naraoka. Lee tried to put it away on the first smash. And even though Naraoka defended it well, he put it straight in the pathway of Lee. He makes no mistake on the second time. manages that as he's on the worst of two ends it's landed just out three There's Nakanishi four. on the left hand side of the screen and Kodanaroko's father was sitting on the right. <laughs> He's struggling at the net at the moment, Naroka, not being able to get five, the shuttle over on a few three. occasions. And chooses that deceptive drop Lee Zijia you could see his record just twist at the last minute oh. very much like the first game five seeing Naroka stay within touching distance early on not so important I guess for him to be ahead as much as he's win within the a point or two of E. And we saw him turn it around towards the end of the game in the first. Will it be more of the same here? And again, we a deceptive drop shot. Playing to perfection. You see, he makes the jump as well, which indicates that he's going for that smash, but then goes for the drop catches his opponent completely off guard. Two-point lead. A matter of where to put it for Lizzie Jia. And he puts it on the backhand of Naroka, which is definitely harder to return. Naroka nowhere near it. Oh. That's 
really nicely played. Going behind his opponent. Finds the space between the lines. That's gone long. Service over. Eight. Five. Salizi Jera, as he knows all about winning a Super 1000 title, did it at All England in 2021. And that's the main difference between these two. Naroka having never won one. Experience that Lee has is crucial when he takes on the big guns of badminton. Six, eight. He himself, of course. A big gun. power in with a lovely defensive shot and then turns it into attack efficiently three-point lead resumed between the two players in this match so far. That's played really well by Lee Zijia. Line judge, line judge. Thank you. Quick wipe of the floor. Present. Lizzie are looking to take a commanding lead in the second game. We're almost at the mid game break. I didn't have to even look at it. Knew it was going out. Lizzie Jia takes an 11 6 lead at the break. Five points ahead of his opponent. Court two, twenty seconds. Court two, twenty seconds. Coach. The back and court, Lizzie Jura up by five 11, points, which is six, the biggest gap we've seen in this match so far. Play. Looking to turn this around, he's a game down, of course.
think about how many matches Lizija has played where he's had six. to come back from a game down. It's seven this year. He's won four and lost three. That's how his tally stands. So it could go either ways. Lizija coming back from a game down. But right now, it's definitely going the Malaysians' way. This is exactly the response you would have wanted coming back from a game down. Service over. Just Seven. Get it over. Twelve. I should say. defend his way through the rallies not being able to create any kind of opportunity of his own he's won six of the last seven points Lee <laughs> great mark easy yeah you know he's feeling confident at the moment 15 7 killing off these points with ease That looked like it was very wide. Service over. Sometimes Eight. he does try very hard 15. to outmuscle his opponents, doesn't he? In terms of playing those rallies out. Most of the time, you'd say it works for him, but Service there are a few occasions where it doesn't. Service, Service over. error from Narrow. Huh? Too high. Too high. Mm -hmm. well, that's a. Uh, Laps of focus now from the Japanese. Let's remember, we've had 48 minutes of play. Oh, that's much better. Straight down the line. Easy. Four. Nine. Sixteen. And decides to play on the forehand side of Lee. It's the injection of pace that was crucial in that winner. That's an excellent rally. And it's Mara Oka who comes out on top. Line judge, line judge. That is a fantastic Line point from Naraoka. He really thought that Ten, out. 16. And just see the way he moves Lee around the court. Eventually, it's the mistake from his opponent that proves costly. And he's got a six point cushion here. Easy, yeah. He'll be too shaken up by that. It's 
shot to drop. Well read. Fabulous injection of pace from Lee. The variety in this game is unquestionable. Goes for the slower shot first and then the second time. It's in a powerful forehand. Seven point lead restored. Be a little bit careful. 18 10. Lizzie Jachu had trouble gauging the length from the near end of the court in the first game. That is sensational stuff from Lizzie Jachu. It's unbelievable 10. how he's able to put so much of base behind his shots comes into the opponent so fast. Service over. Oh, okay, 11, He's 19. Here to sit back and watch. Impressive net skills from the Japanese shuttler. Look how tight that was. It's pulled out. 12. 19. Two points away from leveling the match here is Lee. Make that one. Over. There. 20. It's got game eight point game point opportunities. 12. He's broken a string. You can see Narok a little bit dissatisfied with how this game has gone. Easy Jia has, I would say, completely controlled it from about the midway point. And he took that 11-6 lead. He hasn't turned back. He's only built on it. Twenty twelve. Well, Easy Jam takes it on the first game point opportunity. 21 12 in the second. And we're off to a third, which has been typical of the exchanges between these two men. So see the score here. 53 minutes have been played so far. And it's one game apiece. had a lot more to say to narrow after that second game than uh, Wong Tat Men and Darren Liu to Li Zijia. It's, uh, it's Li Zijia who took a commanding lead in that second game and did not look back. 
seemed a lot more confident game. and at ease Love in the second game. But this Play. is a game that will decide it all. We're into a third. Lizzy Jia to serve. Unlucky Lizzie Jia. If that had One. landed in, that would have no. been epic. But much to Naroka's relief, it didn't. Let's look at Naroka's first round loss. I mentioned that he's only lost in the first round once in his last. tournaments and that came at the Australian Open where he lost to Wang Hong Yang in straight games that was his last first round loss before that all his first round losses came beginning of the year in the Open in the Masters and German Open it has been how well he's played Naroka this Two. season. Love. It's important for him to really <laughs> take control early of this third game because the momentum was clearly with Lee at the end of the second. <laughs> it's gone long. And that's where Lee struggled Three. in the first game as well. He tried to aim towards the back court. A lot of shots going long. A wide, especially on Naroka's backhand side. Chasing throughout that rally. Desperate defending at times. What a four love lead. Good start by the 22 year old Japanese. Judgment Love. by Lee. Get the feeling that if Naroka takes a big enough lead here in the third game, first half of the third game, I should say, and then even at the change of ends, he'll be in a good position to see it out. response takes it early easy job at the mid court puts it away emphatically
seven, one. Six point lead. Supreme start by Naruoka. Mistake by Lee at the net. Eight, but three. How about that net shot from Naraoka as well? Again, keeping it really tight. Doesn't give him much space to maneuver. Eight, three. different Naraoka we're seeing here in the third game I think he recognizes the advantage of his end he's making the most of it it's impossible for Lee to mount a challenge at the moment that's well worked over four nine Quick flat exchanges and then easy yeah, playing the kill kill shot at the backhand side of Naraoka. Good work by Naraoka here. is turning out to be and it's Lee DJ who showed his mastery on the board in that rally who had a little bit of everything Lee DJ just fantastic backhand he does a little pirouette and then how about that for a kill point at the net he goes behind Naraoka Leaving him helpless. the patient game he understands his advantage well here for him is to just stick to his plan which has worked so well in the first half as he 
takes a six-point lead at the mid-game break. He is very much staying in charge of this third game, this deciding game. And despite a few moments of disruption from me, it's Naroka who is the man who's in the lead. 11-5 up in the third. had a very different chat in the Malaysian camp than say at the end of the second game. Oh. He's still finding himself six points down. Oh. Oh. Well, okay. Such five. a smart player. Looks for his opportunity and then plays his shots to perfection. Easy jab left on the floor. Seven point lead. I'll tell you, there's a thrilling match going over on court one and men's singles as well. It's uh, Hong Kong China's Lisa Q who's come to a 73 minute battle over Zhao Jinping. Lee winning in three games 21 19, 21 23, 21 19 there. It's got the crowd all wild up, but brings an end to, of course, the home players oh. campaign. Zhao Jinping knocked out in the first round. 13-6. Back on this game. It's Kora Naroka who is holding on to this big lead here. Ah, oh, that's lovely backhand. Uh, he will challenge out. that because that was pretty close, I'd say. It's called out. It's the right, idea, right decision to challenge. We just landed out. Line judges have been pretty accurate with their decisions so far in court two. Yeah, challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Unsuccessful 14, with that challenge, six. and it's Naroka who's opened it up by eight. Play. Apologizes Naraoka, but six. he'll take it. Gets it just over the tape there. More importantly, 10 points up now. Service over. 7 16. Ends of 5. 4.1 by Naraoka, that one. That mistake. They're still showing the fight in this decider, even though the score line is defying him and his motivation. 
Lovely shot, cross net, beautifully struck. Called out and Maroka challenges it this time. Called out. He was waiting for that smash. Maroka knew exactly where he wanted to play it. Coming. Lee. That lift too high. 17. Bound to be nine. punished. And you can see a change in his body language. Lee Zijia. Shoulders a little bit more curved in, a little bit more slumped. Recognizing that this game might be a little too far from him. Naroka has been exceptional in the decider. And he's seventeen. Making the most of the opportunities that come his way. Too difficult to save by Naroka. Thank you. Change the face over. there, Lee. 18 finds 10. the net instead. Writing seems to be all but written on the wall. Three points away from a victory here is Naroka. his calmness throughout this match, Naroka. While we did see a few times his uh, dissatisfaction in the second game, bounce back has been superb. Nothing short of amazing. That finds the line. Service over. Lizzie just still 11, fighting. 19. Looking to find a way back here does not give up a lovely cross for forehand was for the slower shot there and narrow for showing he too can be precise with his placement nine match point opportunities Second round is Kodai Naroka with a sublime backhand drop shot. He showed his quality, especially in that third game where he took the lead early on and did not look back from full love up 
he just carried on Kodai Naroka. one by Kodai Naroka. Making 26, 24, sure that 12, 21, his place 21, 11. in the second round was booked. Big celebration at the end. Big win over a dangerous player. Naroka is through to round two after 75 minutes on court. 26 24, 12 21, 21 11. He was made to battle that one. But he came through, especially at the end with flying colors. Watching live coverage of the Victor China Open 2023, and here on court two, we are five matches in into the sixth match, which is the women's doubles encounter. Up 